One thing that Heidegger and the existentialists face, which I think previous philosophers didn't face, is the fact that our knowledge of death induces anxiety. It's mm -hmm. terrifying. Mm -hmm. We're frightened right. when we try to look in the eye, the mm -hmm. fact that we are going to die. Yeah. And so anxiety in the face of our own finitude or mortality becomes one of the central themes of existentialist philosophy, isn't yes. it? And I, I, I think it, it, it's important to see that this place is a, what I consider a, a fundamentally a sound and healthy um, assessment on the fact of, of anxiety. Anxiety is sort of led a checkered career in modern culture. I mean, it became fashionable a few decades ago. I remember when Auden wrote his book, The Age of Anxiety. Um, well, it seemed to be the, the thing that was fashionable. It was the in thing. People went around c cultivating their anxieties and so on, which is rather silly because if, if we've followed our previous um, description of, of death, we realize that anxiety is there anyway. As a matter of fact, anxiety is, is simply our human existence in its contingency coming to the level of consciousness. It, it is the sheer contingency of human existence sort of vibrating there through it. On the other hand, you see the other modern attitude, which is partly the result of our being a technical society, which commands certain instruments. We have a command of drugs or remedies of various kinds. We imagine that there should be some instrument or means by which we can simply press a button and get rid of our anxieties, that they're not something which, uh, which have to be faced and lived through. And uh, I think either extreme is rather unfortunate. It is simply a part of the condition of, of being human. And in a certain sense, at one point, Heidegger says, well, there are all sorts of modes of anxiety. And, and uh, in some forms, it has the kind of peacefulness of a creative yearning. If we weren't anxious, we would never create anything. 